what's up guys and welcome back today's video is a jumbo triangle box spread video well it's not really jumbo it's like in between medium and jumbo you know so um she already had her hair you know washed in conditioned and moisturized on the way before starting so i'm just gonna use ego style gel and rubber bands and the little edge control brush comb thingy so that's all you need for this um I sectioned it off, you know, ear to ear, a little bit below the ear to ear line, and then just went and made my triangle part starting from the center to like, you know, the little points at the bottom of your nape. <laughs> I lined those up and made the little triangle line, and so that's what you want to do. That's like the goal for the back section. Line it up with that, like the end, like how, how wide it is. I don't know how to explain it, like however wide your hair is. I mean your neck is you line the point of the bottom corner to the middle and you do that on the other side and that gives you three points of triangles I guess you could call it and so you rubber band those off with some eco style gel and brush it down just to keep a little moisture in there because you don't want to use edge control you know she want to keep these up for a long time so I just use eco style gel so she can still have a little moisture in her hair and just not too you know it won't flake up in the future you know so i'm gonna do that for all of the sections or whatever and i'm just gonna show you a little slow how you know i do it and just take your time with it you know the usual take your time and just try to be very neat with it um you know you don't really gotta use the little edge control method where you part it then part it with put the edge control over the part and crisping that part up if you have one of these type of combs, you don't have to do that. You can still do it just to be a little, you know, more precise, but that takes longer time and who got time for that? I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, so. I just chose not to do that, but you can if you want to, it's up to you. So just continue watching and then once I get to braiding, I will be back. Another tip when doing these is like line those points up. Like once I get to the next row, you're gonna see where I connect that bottom line. Like the oh, I wish I had. <laughs> I can't explain it. Okay, you're gonna connect like. Okay, you see how every triangle has a point, right? You're gonna connect every point on every row that you go up. Connect every point so that way. When you have when you move the parts around or you switch the parts everyone you will see where that triangle intersects like kind of like an octagon like a stop sign you know how they all meet in the middle if you draw lines or whatever you'll be able to see that and i'll explain it later once i get to that point in the video Okay, there it is like okay the bottom triangle that's under this row you're gonna connect that line the top of that line to the bottom of this line like <laughs> I don't know you just have to watch and see like 
make those points connect with the bottom row so that way every triangle is the same size and perfect shape and everything like that that front one the first one in front of this is not gonna always be the same so just like get that out of the way which is what I did with another event it doesn't have to be perfect you know but you really want that detailed triangle look you know that's the whole goal of this style Okay, enough of that. If you want to, you know, continue rewinding and starting over as long as the video down, you can do so. But now, I'm going to show you uh, a little beginner tucking method. What I do, at least. It's like, you want to lay the hair over top of the client's hair. And like, I split it into two, her hair. I split her natural hair into two pieces. And like, put it with the middle leg and the right leg of the braiding hair. And like, hide it behind there because I feel like it's harder if you just do put the hair over I feel like it's harder if you put the weave over the client's natural hair it makes it harder to tuck that way for me at least so I do it into two so I know exactly what I'm tucking you know not just one thick braid at the top and then smaller at the bottom but just um you know I split into two and like hide the hair behind the hair that's the goal just hiding the hair behind the braiding hair hiding the natural hair behind the braiding hair and like 
just continue to do that until you pass the natural hair and then you can just continue to braid regularly and so I'm gonna upload a video where I show you how to braid and like how to do you know feed in braids whatever you want to see whatever just let me know in the comment section you know what you want to see what you want me to do for you what you want to learn or something like that because I you know I can do it all for you just let me know and um continue to watch this video I mean it's hard for me to explain it and like I said I'm gonna do another video explaining it so I'm not gonna really go into too much detail about it now so be looking for for that video make sure your notifications are toned, turned on and um yeah make sure you like this video if you like the video of course and leave any feedback for me good or bad just you know keep it positive at least and um yeah after I finished braiding all of the hair I dip it in hot water you know of course I put the mousse in the oil sheen and the hairspray on there holding spray I dip it in the hot water and I just put the jewels on there after if needed if necessary like if the client requests them I'll do that but that's a whole nother video okay but I'm talking too much so that's all I'm gonna do for now like I said thank you for watching the video and leave your feedback and don't forget to subscribe As you can see, I'm still learning on tucking as well. Like I, I got some more work to do, but practice makes perfect. So just keep practicing. But this is the finished product. Um, I absolutely love doing triangle braids. Oh my gosh, they just, I don't know, something about it warms my heart. But these are, this is the style finish and everything. Thank you again for watching this video. Make sure you leave your feedback and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys.